What's going on guys? John Alder here from tkinter.com and in this video, we're gonna look at this crazy chat GPT AI thing and see if it can actually create Kinter programs for us. All right guys, like I said, in this video, we're gonna look at this chat GPT AI thing and see if it can actually create Kinter projects for us. But before we get started, be sure to grab your totally free PDF version of my Kinter widget quick reference guide book. This thing is awesome, 150 pages, has all the Kinter widgets and their attributes. Just head over to tkinter.com forward slash widget dash book enter your email address and I'll shoot you a free copy right away. And while you're there, think about signing up for tkinter.com membership. You get all my Kinter videos and courses for one low price. Use coupon code YouTube to get 30% off membership while you still can. All right, chat GPT. If you haven't heard about this thing yet, you've been living under a rock for the last two or three weeks or so. It's this crazy artificial intelligent thing that you can chat with and it will chat back with you. But it's not just a chat bot. It will actually write computer code for you. So I wanna spend a little bit of time today just looking at this and familiarizing you guys with it and seeing some of the things you can do and trying to figure out, can we use this for Kinter projects? Can this create a Kinter program for us? So that's what we're gonna look at. So head over to chat.openai.com forward slash chat. You have to sign up, it's free, enter your email address, create a little account, and then you can sign in and here's the screen. And you just come down here and you ask it questions. So I don't know if you can read this or not, make it bigger. So we could say, create a tkinter program that asks for a person's name and then responds with a pleasantry. All right, hit enter, see what happens. Sure, here's a simple example of a kinter program, blah, blah, blah. And it's writing us a kinter program by itself. So this is scary, right? Like, I'm almost out of a job. You don't need me at all anymore. So, all right, let's see what this thing does. It's going, it's going. All right, this is using uh, classes. We don't usually use classes, but let's copy this. We can click copy code and let's run it and see if it works. So I've got a file I'm calling it chatgpt.py. I'm just gonna paste this stuff in here and save it. Head over to our terminal. I'm in my C slash tkinter.com terminal and let's run Python chat gpt.py and here's a little program we get now there's not a whole lot of padding it's very small it says what's your name i can type in john hit the submit button and it says hello john so that's pretty crazy now we can play around with this head back over to the website here and i don't like classes i like functional programming so let's copy this and try it again come down here paste it in using functional programming. Let's give that a try. Sure, here's a simple example, blah, 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 that uses functional programming. <laughs> and here we go. Now it's creating a functional program. This is crazy, right? Zoop, 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 done. <laughs> right? So let's copy this, bring it back over here, paste this in, save it, run it. I'm sure it's going to work. Again, my name is John, click submit, hello, John. Now, this is very small, right? It's kind of hard to deal with and see. So let's come up here again and copy this and let's try again. <laughs> so let's go create a Kinter program that asks for a person's name that responds with pleasantry. Oh, I misspelled pleasantry. There we go. Using functional programming. Uh, let's see, create a Kinter program that's 500 by 500. We won't even say pixels. Let's just say 500 by 500. Give each widget padding of 20. I don't know. See what it comes up with. <laughs> right? Certainly, here's an example of blah, blah, blah. Dimensions fit 500 by 500 with padding of 20 around each widget. Crazy, right? Yeah, it looks like it's doing it, 500 by 500. Pad X, pad Y. This is very, very cool, but also very terrifying. This is like Skynet stuff. It's gonna put me out of business. It's gonna put us all out of business. Uh, and then it you know, tells us a little something about it. All right, you just keep talking, buddy. I'm gonna go over here, let's paste this in. And let's save this, run it. Oh, we have an error. Oh, it messed up. Let's see, pad X, pad Y. Ah, the padding 
we understand goes in the pack statement, not right here. So we will fix that. I'm sure you could get around that by, oh, we'll try it in a second, see. Uh, let's see, still getting an error. Oh, we missed one. All right, get rid of that. Okay, now let's give this a try. And there we go. What's your name? John, submit. Hello, John. Crazy. Recently, I've been playing around with the TTK Bootstrap library. Will it use that? Let's try it. Use the TTK Bootstrap library for the button and entry widgets. I don't know. Let's see. It's telling us, hey, we have to install it. This is how you install it. <laughs> Oh, that's crazy. That's scary, right? Adding 20 pixels around each widget. Certainly seems like it's doing it. Oh, it's doing that same thing with the pad X and the pad Y in the wrong spot. Uh, let's try this again before we even see if this works. Let me copy this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And use pad padding of 20 in the pack, or let's say when using pack. I don't know, Will that work? I don't know. <laughs> let's see. I'm sure there's a correct way to say it that it'll put that in the right line of code or whatever, but whatever. All right, let's see what we got here. Ask for a person's names, responds with a greeting. Okay. Notice it's importing each thing separately. So the button and the entry, instead of importing the entire boot, TTK bootstrap library, it's just doing a little bit. Oh, it did it, it worked. Look, <laughs> oh man. It's learned. We've taught it something. <laughs> right. All right, let's copy this code. Bring it on over here. Paste it in. Let's save this. Come back over here. Clear the screen. I'm almost scared to do this. Look at that. Here we go. Now, this is a light theme. I like the superhero theme. Let's see if it'll do it. So let's come up here. Copy this. Use the superhero theme for TTK bootstrap. All right. <laughs> what do you think? I think it's going to do it. It hasn't let us down so far. This is just nuts. And there we go. So far, so good. Style, up, side, fit, use superhero right there. Look at that. Crazy. This is so wild, right? And also, how fun is this? I mean, it's a lot of fun, but I don't know if this is going to replace us right away, but it certainly can speed up your development process, right? You know, you may have to tweak some things here and there, or give it a few tries before, you know, you tell it the right thing that it understands that you can use. But, you know, wow. Let's get rid of this, save this, run it. And look at that superhero dark theme. My name is John. Hello, John. Whew, nuts. And those are very, and this is a very basic app, right? Let's try something a little bit more complicated. Let's say create a program using tkinter, or let's say create a calculator using tkinter. I don't know, let's just do that. Create a calculator using tkinter. Ah, again with that, I hate that. Let's try this again. Let's go. 
create a calculator using tkinter and functional programming. Try again. <laughs> All right, so. Starting out with button seven. Not really sure why. <laughs> button eight, button nine. And it's just stopped again. Let me copy this. I don't know. I'm not sure if we've hit a rate limit, maybe. I'm going to hit shift enter and reload this guy. And let's try this again. Certainly. <laughs> huh. It's doing it a little differently this time. Wow, it is churning out some code here. Still going. Add the special buttons. <laughs> That's crazy. Looks like we're using the grid system instead of the pack system. Interesting. Probably do that. It makes sense, right? You want to put the buttons very specifically around. Uh oh, and it's, it's died on us again. So there must be a rate limit or something until uh, for the free version, maybe. Let's copy this, we'll pop this in here. This isn't going to work. Well, I'll leave the main root loop there. And let's just see what else do we have at the end of this column equals call it looks like it wants to be and then we would do something like that let's just save this and run it to see what what we've got here name root is not defined hmm. Hmm. oh it's not root main loop what do we call it up here window so that's going to be window dot main loop Oh, wow. Okay, so <laughs> we definitely have a little tiny calculator here. Let's go three. And that worked. Plus three equals. Hmm, doesn't really work yet. Oh, that works. Error. Let's go nine square. Oh, wait a second here. Ah, uh, there we go. There we go. So let's go nine square root equals error. Okay, let's <laughs> go square root nine equals error. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, 10 divided by two equals, hey, that worked 5.0. So it's, it kind of works. Six times three equals 18. Yeah. And what do you know? doesn't resize, we could make it, we could probably tell it to resize though. Very interesting. Anyway, this is amazing. This is awesome. This is so much fun. Play around with this, see what it can do, see what its limitations are. I haven't looked at the documentation. I don't know anything about this yet. I've just played with it a little bit, but you can bet I'm going to dive into it and learn as much as I can about it because this is crazy. Uh, but yeah, very cool. And check it out. So that's all for this video. If you liked, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and be sure to grab a totally free PDF version of my Kinter Widget Quick Reference Guide book. This thing is awesome. It has all the Kinter Widget attributes all in one place, though you might not even need it if you've got this chat GPT thing. I don't know. And while you're there, check out tkinter.com membership. Get all my Kinter courses and videos for one low price. Use coupon code YouTube to get 30% off membership if you're interested. My name is John Elder from tkinter.com, and I'll see you in the next video.